This is the top five best meta class setups in Modern Warfare 3. These are every class that you need if you want to do well. These are all very easy to use, honestly, no recoil, and they'll get the job done. So we're going to start out with the BP-50. I'm going to give you guys new guns first because I think they're very important. Start out with the VT-7 Spirit Fire Suppressor. It helps with being undetectable by the radar, recoil control, bullet velocity, and damage range at the cost of aim down sight speed, aim walking stay, and sprint to fire speed. Now, it's honestly not a big deal. Lower 9 Heavy Barrel. This helps with bullet velocity and range, gun kick control, recoil control, and firing aim stability at the cost of hip fire attack. Stand spread, aim walking speed, sprint to fire speed, and sprint speed. Put on the Brune Heavy Support Grip. This helps with gun kick control, aiming out of sway, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability at the cost of vertical recoil and aim down sight speed. 45 round mag because I think this is just the optimal choice. And last but not least, the Moat 40 stock for gun kick control, aim down sight speed, aim walking speed, and recoil control at the cost of firing aim stability, sprint to fire speed, and sprint speed with movement speed. This thing is actually ridiculously good and does not take much effort to use. It's actually ridiculous how good this thing is. It's a iron sight weapon that has practically no recoil. Like, I'm not even at 120 FOV, so people that actually play at 120 FOV, it's actually going to look even more insane than this. But you guys see, close range is amazing, medium range is amazing, and long range is amazing. This is actually the same class setup I use in Warzone, and it's because in solos, this thing is an absolute monster. This is the only thing that you actually need. So here's the entire class setup for the BP-50. If you made it this far, I want you guys to comment, I saw that. We're going to trick everybody that actually doesn't watch the entire video, and it's going to be really funny. Next is the Ram 9, and this thing is absolutely incredible in multiplayer and Warzone, so I have something very special for you. They're on the Zemin 35 Compensated Flash Hider. Now, this shortens radar pings. It increases the vertical and horizontal recoil control and firing aim stability. Now, you do lose some bullet velocity and aim down sight speed, but it's not a big deal. In fact, if you look... The bullet velocity reduction is not that much. It's only a 5% reduction. And honestly, I think that you're not even going to notice it. Next, I put on the DR6 hand stop for aim walking speed, aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, and movement speed at the cost of him fire attack, stand spread, and aim walking steadiness. Put on a 40 round mag. Now, if you want to put on 50, that's all the power to you. I don't really think you need it. I think this thing shreds fast enough. So you can put on 40 and most likely wipe out at least half the team before you have to reload. I put on the Retort 90 Grip Tape for firing aim stability, gun kick control, and recoil control at the cost of aiming at sway. And last but not least, I put on the HVS 3.4 pad for gun kick control, aiming at sway, firing aim stability, and recoil control at the cost of movement speed, sprint speed, aim walking speed, and sprint to fire speed. Honestly, this thing is ridiculously easy to use. It's a super powerful weapon, and honestly, even at long range, if you just burst fire, it's like, look how fast that actually takes the enemy out. They're not even going to be able to react in time by the time you actually try to shoot them. So this is overall a fantastic weapon. You burst fire for the long range, and you can continuously fire short to medium. It's just, honestly, I would say the best weapon in MW3 right now. But, I mean, that's just... That's just my opinion. You guys can choose whatever you guys want to as the best weapon. But here's the entire class setup right here. I highly recommend, please, screenshotting this, using it at least once. I know you guys are going to do really good with it, and you're going to be shocked at just how amazing it is. Next for competitive, I mean, the Rival 9 is a given. I have to give you guys this class setup. And I mean, this is honestly the best choice for competitive. Go on the LFR flash hider for muzzle flash concealment, recoil control, and gun kick control at the cost of an aim down sight speed. I don't really think there's any better alternative. I think this is the best possible choice. 9mm high grain rounds for bullet velocity and damage range at the cost of recoil control. Now, this is the multiplayer side. You can put on a 40 round mag if you're playing multiplayer, but if you're not playing multiplayer, I do have an alternative for you. Throw on the rival vice assault grip for gun kick control, firing aim stability, and recoil control at the cost of aiming out of sway. And last but not least, MTZ Marauder stock for gun kick control, aiming out of sway, and firing aim stability at the cost of aim, walking speed, movement speed, hit fire attack, stand spread, and sprint to fire speed. Now, this is how it's going to feel when you're actually playing multiplayer. It's actually incredibly good when it comes to, you know, multiplayer. But the downside is this right here. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to actually win your long range engagements, which is why I do have an alternative for you guys if you guys are not playing multiplayer. The only thing you're going to need is the Brune Heavy Support Grip. Throw this on, go into the firing range. Absolute laser. Gets the job done super easily. So, this is the competitive mode if you guys want to actually use this. Also, if you guys want less recoil, you can just take off the high grain rounds, but I think that you should keep them on. I think they're pretty ideal. Next is an absolutely amazing SMG to use in multiplayer, the HRM9. Throw on the L4R flash hider for muzzle flash concealment, recoil control, and gun kick control at the cost of some aim down sight speed. Throw on the Thorn 90 barrel for hip fire and attack stand spread, aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, and sprint speed at the cost of aiming out of sway and recoil control. X10 Phantom 5 hand stop for sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed, vertical recoil, and gun kick control at the cost of hip fire and attack stand spread, and horizontal recoil. 50 round drum because that's really the only choice that you can put on. I don't recommend 20, it's just not worth it. 
And last but not least, the folding stock for recoil control, gun kick control, and firing aim stability at the cost of some aim down sight speed. This is honestly one of the easiest SMGs in the game. The only downside is I would say watch out for that initial kick because that initial kick can get you in trouble. Now here's the entire class setup. Make sure you guys copy it down. It's such a beautiful weapon. It's super easy to use in multiplayer. Now you guys know we had to save the best for last, the MCW. This is still meta, and this is still the best class setup that I can possibly give you guys. They're on the 16.5 MCW cycle and long barrel for bullet velocity and range, aiming out of sway and firing aim stability at the cost of hit fire attack stand spread, aim walk speed, and sprint to fire speed. Trust me, this is the one you want to have on there. Next on the 5.56 NATO grain high rounds. Next on the 5.56 NATO high grain rounds for bullet velocity and damage range at the cost of recoil control, but you're not going to notice this because this thing has zero recoil. 40 round mag, I don't recommend 60 unless you want more cons. I think this is a good medium to 40 and you can still get the job done and wipe out the entire team. RB Claw PSL grip for firing aim stability, gun kick control, recoil control at the cost of aiming out of sway, not a big deal. There's just no better alternative. This is the best possible choice. Now this one's a little bit controversial. I like the Mark III Reflector, but I also like the Niter. But the big thing I will say is the Slate Reflector. The Slate Reflector would be the best possible choice. I think that it actually helps the best. It gives you the best line of sight. So Slate Reflector would be the overall best choice. This thing is super busted, super easy to use, does not take much effort at all. Like it really doesn't. It's just an absolutely busted assault rifle. I mean, when you think about it, this thing is the ACR, so it's it has the right to be absolutely broken. It's just an absolutely amazing weapon. But here is the entire class setup. And if you guys have made it this far in the video, I want you guys to comment ACR. I'm going to shout out some of you guys in the next video. I'm going to give you some of you guys some COD points. Now I'm going to give you guys every perk and vest that you guys are actually going to want to have. So, one, the field upgrade. This is, I mean, this is the only controversial one. You could run Dead Silence if you really want to. I don't even know if I, yeah, Dead Silence if you want to, but I just don't think that it's worth it. Make sure you guys have the scavenger gloves on there if you're playing multiplayer. And this is only if you're playing respawn. If you're not playing respawn, I have a different set of perks for you. Tactical pads so that you can slide cancel efficiently. EOD padding so you're not getting blown up by random nades, claymores, all that stuff. And this thing right here is so useful. You guys have no idea. The black light flashlight will show recent enemy footsteps. So if somebody's hiding in a corner or something and they just got there, well, guess what? You're going to be able to catch them by surprise and take them out. I also put on the CCT comms vest. This is basically like resurgence in multiplayer every time you get a kill they're gonna drop an intel pack you pick up that intel pack and you get a ping of where the enemies are it's ridiculous you guys need to have this on there now if you're playing search and destroy this is the setup i have for you guys now i still have cct comms vest on there it's kind of broken in search and destroy but <laughs> you want to have that on there i put on the marksman gloves this reduces sway and flinch while ads trust me you want it's on there the covert sneakers because this is basically dead silence I will have the mag holster so that you can actually reload quicker. This is very, very useful, trust me. And last but not least, I have the black light flashlight again. This is just so ideal. So this is for multiplayer and search and destroy. For regular search and destroy, it's gonna be a little bit different, but this is the overall build. And let me know guys, what is your favorite class that I've given you guys in this video? Is it the new DLC weapons or is it the OG weapons? I would greatly appreciate to know what you guys thought.